So how do you actually script VFX, like those explosions and awesome transformations? Let's start with a really, really simple example. I promise you're going to understand this. So let's start with a part. So I'm going to create a part and I'm going to change the material to neon. This is going to cause the part to glow. And I'm going to change the brick color to yellow because let's say I want, let's maybe I want my explosion to be yellow. And I want to change this shape to a ball. And now we have a glowing yellow ball. So now the question is, how do you actually make this thing appear to explode? So I'm going to use a scale tool and I'm going to click on one of these and I'm going to press control at the same time. Watch as I drag this. Do you see how the size is getting bigger? So if we're making an explosion, it's going to start at a really small size to the point where we can barely see it like that. And then it's going to go boom, right? So if we're making like a nuke, then we're going to be like over here. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Control, click this ball. Boom. That's how the explosion is going to look like. Just like that. It's going to start small and it's going to go bam. Now, while that's happening, what's going to happen is see this transparency right here. This basically means this right here. This is the number. And if this number is one, then the part is completely invisible. If this number is zero, then the part is completely visible. And if this part is any number in between zero and one, as you can see, it's like somewhat invisible and somewhat visible. And if that number is close to one, then it's mostly invisible. If it's close to zero, then it's mostly visible. And for our explosion, all we want to do is get this transparency to go from zero to one in a smooth way, just like that. And it will achieve this fading out effect. And remember the size increasing thing in the beginning, we want to do that. And we want to do this transparency going to one thing at the same time. And I'm going to set anchored to true and can collide to false so that Roblox doesn't treat this like an actual ball because, because it's an explosion, it's not a ball. <laughs> okay, so how do you actually script this? So we're going to go into server script service, insert object script. Okay, so let's walk through this step by step so you don't get confused. So the first thing we need is we need to tell the script what this thing is. And to do that, we're going to say local explosion equals workspace dot explosion. And what this is basically saying is now whenever I talk about this explosion, then I'm talking about workspace that explosion, which is also this thing. So instead of typing workspace that explosion every single time, I can just type explosion. So this is the thing that we want to work with. And now remember that what we want to do is we want to let's here. Let's first try to get this transparency from zero to one in a very smooth way like that. So how do you set this explosions transparency to a certain number? So let's say I want to set the transparency to 0 0.5. How do I get this script to do that for me? So let me just make this zero. And so to do that, what you want to do is you want to say explosion dot transparency equals 0 0.5. And what this is basically doing is it's basically just going to transparency and it's going to set this to 0 0.5, just like that. So now if we set this back to zero and then we run our code, we're going to see that our script made this thing have a transparency of 0 0.5. Okay, cool. But we want this thing to go from zero to one in a smooth way. So it looks like it's fading out like that. So how do you do that? Well, one way is by noticing that explosion.transparency equals 0 0.5 basically sets this to 0 0.5. And if we're fading this like this, then why don't we just try setting the transparency to 0 0.1 like this, and then 0 0.2 like this, and then 0 0.3 like this, and then 0 0.4 like this, and then 0 0.5 like this, and then 0 0.6 like this. And then you're just going on and on just like that until it completely fades out. I mean, that does work, doesn't it? So let's try it. So we have explosion.transparency equals 0 0.5. Let's start at 0 0.1. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to add a wait, a task.wait. This basically tells Roblox to wait a few seconds before doing the next line. So I'm going to set this to 0 0.1. So it's going to set the explosion's transparency to 0 0.1. And then it's going to wait 0 0.1 seconds. And then let's do it again. Set the explosion's transparency to 0 0.2. And then wait. Again, 0 0.1 seconds, and then we're going to do the same thing. Copy and paste a whole bunch of times. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 1. So this thing, it will work. Boom. So some of you may recognize this, and this isn't the proper way of doing it. This is like, this is a very bad way of doing it. What you want to do is you want to use a for loop. So a for loop allows us to do all of this in very few lines of code. So instead of having like all of these lines of code just to do that, we can do it in like four. So we can say four i equals one ten do. And now what this is basically saying is let's start a new for loop. 
And then if I do a print I just to show you what that does, I'm going to make all of these have a comment. So now none of these are going to execute. So this right here, this is printing the value of i. And i is a value that starts at 1 and then goes to 2 and then goes to 3 and then goes to 4 and then all the way to 10. So i is just a number from 1 through 10. And I'm just going to add a weight here. And now if you run this and you look at your output, as you can see, it prints the numbers from 1 through 10 because that's what i is. So now we have to do a little bit of math. So we know that i is a number from 1 through 10. How can we get this number to instead of being 1, for example, how do we get this number to be 0 0.1? Instead of 2, how do we get it to be 0 0.2? Instead of 10, how do we get it to be 1? Well, one might recognize that if you take 2, for example, this number right here, and you divide it by 10, boom, you get 0 0.2, which is just what we need. So instead of doing all of these lines of code, why can't we just do something like this? explosion dot transparency equals and then because i is a number from 1 through 10 we can say i divided by 10. this right here is like this right here so it's basically so i is initially set to 1 right so 1 divided by 10 0 0.1 that's what we're setting here and then i will become 2 2 divided by 10 0 0.2 then i will become 3 3 divided by 10 0 0.3 so that's this right here is basically doing all of this right here for us. We don't even need it anymore. And I'm just going to put the 0 0.1 here just to make it wait 0 0.1 seconds. And now, if I run this, it's going to do the same exact thing as before. Now, if you've been learning pretty well so far and you want to learn more about scripting in a clear way where each line of code is explained to you, then this book is literally made for you. The Beginner's Guide to Roblox Scripting. This book will teach you Roblox scripting from the very beginning and by the end, You'll know so much that you'll be able to create your own admin commands and understand all of the code in it. If you're interested, there's a link in the description of this video, or you can go on Twitter and look for my pinned post. If you buy the physical copy and send me a picture on Twitter within six months of this video being uploaded, I will give you a surprise. And if you want this to become more smooth, we can set this to 100 instead of 10. Instead of dividing by 10, we can divide it by 100. So the reason for this is because now instead of I being a number from 1 through 10, I will become a number from 1 through 100. So now if i is 1, so this is what i would be, and then i divided by 100 would be 1 divided by 100, which is 0 0.01, which is what we would set this thing's transparency to. So instead of setting it to 0 0.1 right off the bat, we can set it to 0 0.01, and then we can set it to 0 0.02, and then 0 0.03, and then so on, all the way, all the way to 1. So that right here is what we're doing. So we're basically just setting i from 1 through 100 and we're setting the transparency to whatever i is divided by 100, which is what we're doing right here. And now instead of 0 0.1, I'm going to make it 0 0.01. And you're going to see this is going to run pretty smoothly. So boom, very smooth. Now, why was that very smooth? The reason it was very smooth is because now instead of increasing it by 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 like that, what we're doing is instead we're using 0 0.01 increments. So 0 0.01, 0 0.02, all the way through, and that gives it that smooth fading out effect. Okay, so that's cool and all, but there's an even easier way to do this. So this is just so you can understand how this works. And to do that, we're gonna use something called tween service. And tween service basically just does all of this for us. But this explanation right here, so that you understood what was happening behind the scenes. So tween service is going to do all of this for us. And here's the, here's how this works. So tween service and then colon create. This basically means to create a new tween. And this thing, this whole thing that we did right here with setting the explosions transparency to I divided by 10, we call that a tween. So we're creating a new tween and then it wants an instance. So what is the thing that we're tweening? We're tweening an explosion. What is the tween info? This is like information about the tween, like how long you want it to be. So if you do tween info dot you one, and that means make this explosion change its transparency for one second. And then there's a table of properties. And for this, we can just say transparency equals one. So this right here is basically doing this right here. Let me just go over this so that you understand it. So we have tween service, create a new tween, tween the explosion. And then this tween info.new1 means one second. So it's going to change the transparency from zero to one over one second. It's going to do that to the explosion. So that's all this is saying. So if we get rid of this and then we do play, whoops, 
It's basically just doing the same exact thing, but Roblox is doing it for us. And that was a little bit fast, so let me just change this to 5 so you can see how this works. So basically, that's just Roblox doing what we just did for us, so that we don't have to handle all that math and nitty gritty stuff. Now, I could have started with this, but it's more important for me to teach you how this works behind the scenes. So that's why we're doing this. Okay, so we've covered most of it, and now all we have left to do is to make this thing get bigger, just like this. Oops. <laughs> so all we have to do is get this thing to become bigger and do the transparency thing at the same time. And luckily for us, tween service will do it for us. So all we have to do now is set the size to a big number. So vector 3.new dips. And then we can set the size to like 60, 60, 60. And now tween service will take care of everything for us. Watch this. Boom. There's your explosion. Now let me just add a task.wait3. And that way you can see it happen a little more clearly. So here we go. And there's the explosion. Boom. A little bit too slow for us. So let's make it a little bit faster. Instead of 5, let's make it like 0 0.65. Now maybe it'll look a little bit more like an explosion. So boom. There you go. So hopefully that makes things a little more clear for you. And if you want to learn a script, I have a bunch of free videos and I have a book. So make sure you check those things out and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.